Hello. In this video, we're going to discuss using multiple units of measure. There may be a situation for certain items where you inventory one unit of measure, but you purchase it in a completely different unit of measure. So we're going to discuss how to set that up properly in order time. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to navigate to our admin section and we're going to go to company preferences and then select items and then we're going to check the checkbox that says enable multiple units of measure. So now that that's enabled I'll go back to my admin and my profile list and I'll find that I have a new type of list called UOM set. And there will be a couple of them already created for you, but I've uh, gone ahead and created this unit of measure set, which is called each to case. And here we have uh, this group of items. We want the primary unit of measure to be each, and but we purchase it in, in cases of 12. So, and the primary unit of measure is what's used for all the inventory list. So, let's say you want to always see your inventory, count inventory in a certain unit of measure, you would set that as the primary unit of measure. Okay, that's the most important thing. In this situation, I entered, uh, once I entered the primary unit, I selected case here, and I know that there are 12 eaches in each case. So 12 each in each case. So if I had, I can also enter another alternate, and let's say in this one, there are in each uh, in each each there are two yards so that I would put in 0.5 there meaning that in each there are there's a half of an each in each yard so these are the alternates that I can use and then I can set one of the alternates to be either my default sold as my default purchase as or my default used as if you sell or use that by default in the same as the primary unit of measure just leave them blank but in this case my default unit of measure is um, a case and i want to set that up that way so i'm going to go ahead and save that and i'm now going to create an item that uses that, that uh, unit of measure set so here i'm just going to kind of put in the item number and some description here. It's important to note that all these prices and costs should be entered in the primary unit of measure. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now I mentioned that all the costs and everything else are always in the primary unit of measure with one exception. And the exception is if I buy, if I set up the item vendors and the unit of measure for purchasing is different than the primary, then the cost that you enter here should be the cost uh, that the vendor is actually uh, charging you. In this case, it's a case cost. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my vendor here. And the cost here is a case cost. So that would be uh, seven times 12 which is the number of units in each case. I'm going to go ahead and create a purchase order for this particular uh, vendor here with this particular item. And I'm going to go ahead and add this item over here. 120 cases. Okay, so let's say I change my mind and I want to show this in, in in each is, I can go and hit this uh, edit purchase order line. It gets me to the details of the purchase order line. And in the UOM, I can now change that. So I can change it to yards or eaches, and it'll update the quantity appropriately. So it's the same purchase order, except that now it converted it into eaches and, and it changed the quantity. But you'll notice it's the exact same cost extension. So I'll Go now, put it back to the cases. Okay. And save that. And voila, it's back into cases. Notice that the extension is the exact same amount, but the quantity and cost changed. 